Today's class, we will discuss about quality seed. Let us start with the definition of seed quality. Seed quality is the possession of seed with the required genetic purity and physical purity. That is accompanied with physiological soundness and the seed health. So there are mainly four characters or four composition of seed quality. The first one is physical purity, then genetic purity, physiological quality and seed health. So let us discuss one by one. The first character is genetic purity. So it is nothing but the true to type nature of the seed. Meaning is the seedling or plant or a tree which is produced from the seed that should resemble its mother characters in all the aspects. Then next one, physical quality. It is the cleanliness of seed from other crop seed, debris, inert matter, diseased seeds and insect damaged seeds. The seed with physical quality should have uniform size, weight, color and it should be free from stones, debris, dust, leaves, twigs, stems, flowers, other crop seeds and inert material. It also should be devoid of shriveled seeds, diseased, mottled, molded, discolored seeds or damaged and empty seeds. Then physiological quality. So it is nothing but the actual expression of seed in the further generations. So it comprises of seed germination, seed viability and seed vigor. So what do you mean by seed germination? Seed germination is nothing but the ability of the seed to produce normal seedling with proper shoot and root system under favorable conditions that is seed germination. So then seed viability. So seed viability is nothing but the state of aliveness that shows whether seed is dead or alive whereas seed vigor it is the degree of aliveness which indicates the strength stamina or energy of the seed to produce vigorous seedling so this is the physiological quality all the viable seeds need not to be germinable but all germinable seeds will be viable. Similarly, all vigorous seeds will be germinable but all germinable seeds need not to be vigorous. Then the fourth main character is seed health. It's nothing but absence of presence of the insect infestation and the fungal infection in or on the seed. That is what the seed health. So now let us discuss what are all the characters of good quality seed? Seed should be genetically pure, should have high physical purity, high germination percentage, vigor and viability. It should have higher field establishment and it free from pest and disease attack. Then seed should possess good shape, size, color etc. according to the specifications of the variety which was specified by the original plant breeder and also should have high longevity, shelf life, free from other crop seeds and it should be free from objectionable weed seeds and it should possess optimum moisture content for the safer storage and also high market value. So these are some of the characters of good quality seed. Let us discuss the genetic purity in different classes of seed. In case of nucleus seed and breeder seed, the genetic purity is 100%. In foundation seed, it is 99.5%. In certified seed, it's 99%. So let us see the physical purity for certification. So in most of the crops, it is 98%, but there are some exceptions. Like in maize and bendy, it is 99%. And in carrot, it is 95%. In sesame, jute, soybean, it is 97% and in groundnut, it is 96%. Seeds should be free from other crop seeds. So then what do you mean by other crop seeds? So these are the plants of different crops which have seeds similar to the 
seed crop. For example, in case of wheat, the other crop seeds are oat, gram, barley. So once these uh, crop seeds are mixed with the wheat, it is difficult to separate because of their similar shape, size, color as that of the wheat seeds. Then objectionable wheat plants. So what do you mean by objectionable wheat plants? So these are the weeds whose seeds are difficult to separate once they are mixed with your crop seed and which are poisonous to human as well as animal health and they have smothering or competitive effect on the main crop for nutrient and water and also it is difficult to eradicate once they are established in your field and they are difficult to separate once they are mixed with our seeds. So ultimately they will cause the mechanical admixtures. So these are some of the characters of objectionable wheat plants. Example, in case of wheat, the wild morning glory acts as objectionable wheat plant. Then soil should be free from designated diseases. Then what do you mean by designated diseases? So these are the diseases which may reduce the yield and the quality of the seed are termed as the designated diseases. For example, in case of wheat, loose mat of wheat which is internally seed borne disease which acts as a designated disease in case of wheat it reduces the yield as well as quality of the seed once this wheat is infected with loose mat disease. Then we should have the optimum moisture content for storage. For long term storage it is 6 to 8 percent for a short term storage it is 10 to 13 percent. So in general the optimum moisture content for a storage of the different group of crops is for cereals it is 10 to 12 percent for pulses it is 8 to 10 percent in case of all seed and vegetables it is 6 to 8 percent so this is about the quality seed and the characters of good quality seed thank you for watching this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section